How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, we will be continuing our talk on our centers and on negativity. In previous videos, I have touched upon how our main centers, which are our intellectual, emotional, and moving instinctive center of our body, have a positive and a negative half. For example, the positive part of our intellectual center is its ability to say yes, which is affirmation, and the negative part is no, negation. This natural division is what makes it even possible for us to think. Without this division, we would not be able to consider and to reason, but our emotional center is unique in that we learn that the negative half is not natural and intrinsic to the makeup of our emotional center, but we learn that this negative half was acquired from our interaction with life so it can be deduced that this negative part by being active is wrong work of the center and is not working properly. And it's easy to see around us and in the world how negative emotions run our day-to-day -day life, how prevalent they are, how easy they spread. For example, a child early on learns to imitate the people around him, like the facial expressions, the postures, etc. And slowly the negativity takes root in his emotional center. So it is important for us to come to a deep understanding of our situation, of the nature of negative emotions, so that we may begin to break the cycle of being infected and reinfecting others with our negativity. We need to clearly see within ourselves the uselessness of negative emotions and how we lose so much vital energy by entertaining these negative emotions, energy that we need to transform ourselves. This will give us the motivation to free ourselves from them because we learn to see that if we don't, we are slaves and completely under their spell, which is the reason why most people in their unawareness continue to cling to their negative emotions and derive a certain amount of their sense of identity. Most people don't even realize when they are being negative and through sincere, genuine self-observation in the manner that I talk about on my channel, we will clearly see our situation we will feel a state of helplessness. But this should not be taken as a negative experience. For in seeing our helplessness, objectively, something new can open up within us. It's like we throw a wrench into our habitual tendencies, and then we are in a better position to attract help. Our higher self can help us. You can also think of it as your real conscience coming to help. Not to be confused with acquired conscience, which varies from culture to culture. And then we develop the ability to discriminate and have an inner taste of negativity in a way that we can recognize it before it is able to take over us. Our real conscience can let us know when we are about to indulge in a wrong state and then we can steer clear of it. Let us take, for example, the negative emotion of suspicion, which will involve the negative part of the intellectual center to form conclusions of a negative kind and by involving the negative part of your intellectual center it will work on the basis of trying to prove that your suspicion is right and this is just a small example of how one center can hypnotize the other center and spoil it from functioning rightly so we must learn to try and separate our thoughts from our emotions when they are negative Otherwise, we will be seeing in a very distorted way. It won't be reality. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, please help me out. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share with anyone who may find my content valuable. I really appreciate your help. And until next time, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.